So the first thing that I'm going to do is find my baby something comfortable to wear because he likes to crawl around the house a lot. So I just found this little outfit. I also make sure to set him out a bib as well because he's in the stage where he's um, slobbing a lot more. And to prevent him from getting a rash around his neck area, I just make sure to set him out a bib. And then I'm just going to grab all the products that I use for his bath time routine. And I was just like thinking to myself, like, tell me you're a black mom without telling me you're a black mom. Like, I feel like I'm just grabbing everything out of the bathroom. <laughs> and a great way to test the water to make sure it's not too hot is by using your wrist, which I learned early on when I had my son. Um, so this is a great way to test it to make sure it's not too hot. And I'm just going to go in with this Shea Moisture Baby Body Wash and Shampoo. It's for sensitive skin and also cradle cap. So my son was having problems with that not too long ago and um, you guys can tell he had a little bit of hair loss but it's starting to grow back now. And I've been using the Shea Moisture body wash and shampoo and then I also use the Aveeno oatmeal packages and I just mix the two together in the palm of my hand. And I just make sure I wet his hair a little bit first before I put it onto his hair. So here's an example of how I do it. I just put the oatmeal in the palm of my hand and then use the shampoo. I just use one squirt and then I mix that together. So I'm using the oatmeal as like a barrier or protectant. So just in case the shampoo is the cause of him having cradle cap and drying his scalp out, I just use the oatmeal to kind of help bring the moisture back into his hair. So all you really need is a little bit of the shampoo or whatever you're gonna be using on your baby's hair. And I just add water as I go until it gives me the consistency that I like. So the only thing that I use to brush his hair out is I'll use my fingertips and I just make sure that they're cut very low so I won't be pulling his hair out. Now I can start washing him up and I just use his toys to make it easier for myself as a distraction. Alright, so now that we're all done with bath time, I'm just going to make him a bottle using this Ready Set Food baby cereal that I got off of Amazon. It does come three to an order and they do allow you to pick whatever flavors you like. So I just decided to go with banana apple, peanut butter, and sweet potato. So this is how it looks. And it does have nine different food allergens mixed in as well, just in case you guys were concerned about it. Um, I just went ahead and took the risk anyway just to introduce my baby to allergens just to see if he had anything that I needed to be worried about um, and he didn't he was just fine but you know that may not be the case for everybody so just wanted to let you guys know and because my baby is now six months I also mix in some mashed potatoes as well and then a little bit of his formula which we're going with the Similac for right now. I do want to go ahead and mention that I like to see how much um, formula and cereal that I'm mixing into my baby's bottle. So that is why I do the formula and cereal first. Um, and then I just pat the bottom just to make sure that it's mixing in properly. And as you guys can see, there was only a little bit of formula that didn't. So I just mixed it again. I feel like whenever I feed him, I have to have something on the TV because it just makes him so much more calmer. And now that he's fed, I can start getting myself together. So I already took a shower and brushed my teeth. So now I'm just gonna do my hair. <laughs> and um, also I'm gonna go in with these magnetic lashes that I got off of Amazon as well. And they are so cute and you get a lot of lashes for just a little bit of money. 
So you kind of want to use the glue as an eyeliner and it doesn't really matter how good or bad you do because the eyelash is going to go over it anyway. Um, and it just takes like literally two seconds to dry and then you'll have your eyelashes applied. And I also just go in with a little bit of mascara to darken them up and yeah, super easy. And then they're reusable. So I just take them off at the end of the day and then reuse them the next day. <laughs> And I'm just going to go ahead and take down the twist that I did the night before. Um, and if you guys would like a hair tutorial video, just let me know down in the comment section. And I will start posting more of my like how-to videos and my wash and go routines for you guys. So once I'm done, I usually just clip my hair up a little bit. Just because I want it out of my face because I pick my son up a lot. And I don't want him grabbing or pulling or trying to eat my hair. So yeah, this is the look for today. We're just keeping it very simple but cute. And we can't forget the glasses because I cannot see and I definitely need them for the day. Okay, so I feel like I gotta say excuse me for the mess this morning because normally it's a little bit more put together but today is like not one of those days. I kind of just like went with the flow and wanted to do something different kind of wanted to be more relaxed today um so yeah i didn't really do too much cleaning at all as y'all can see i really was trying to enjoy my breakfast this morning and um now that my baby is six months and he can start eating solid foods i've been giving him just a little bit until he lets me know that he's full and then i'll just stop feeding him so i'm just gonna wipe his face off because like i said he's still learning how to eat foods so he does make quite a bit of mess so i'm just gonna wipe his face off and then now that we're done we're just gonna chill out for the remainder of the day watch a couple of movies um just have like a real quiet chill day and enjoy the breeze out because it was a nice breeze going it wasn't too cold it was like 70 something degrees so i just wanted to open some of the windows and put on a movie and that's pretty much like our morning routine like after we eat and we watch a few learning channels um and i sing a little bit to him i didn't do it in this video but that's normally what i do and then to quiet him down i just put on like his favorite show um or i kind of put on like a movie they have some really good movies on disney plus so that's what we've been watching a lot lately like <laughs> we've been watching all of my old school favorite um movies that i used to like to watch as a kid so i'm doing the same thing that my parents did with me with my baby so yeah and then it's time for a nap and i'm just going to enjoy this little bit of free time that i have so that's it for today you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video